Hey Capital Kids, this is Miss Tiffany here and we are on day 12 of our 21 days of prayer for kids. Today our scripture is Exodus chapter 14 verses 13 through 14. I love this portion of scripture because it's kind of the start of the Israelites journey um, through wandering in the desert and heading to the promised land. And I love the Israelites because they mess up. They see miracle after miracle. They see God's provision and then they complain and they mess up and they sin and, and then they ask God's forgiveness and they just go back and forth. Um, and they go, you know, they're up and down and, and, and right and left and, and all around and they're just everywhere. But God still loves them and provides for them and keeps them. And they remind me a lot of myself, to be quite honest. And I'm sure that you probably see yourself in them as well. But in this portion of scripture, we see in verse, in chapter 14 of Exodus and verses 13 and 14, we see that they have just come out of Egypt. And they were just delivered. God just did miracle after miracle to, to have them um, leave Egypt um, after so many years in in. Um, in slavery and they've left Egypt and they come against the Red Sea which is this giant body of water and they find that the Egyptians are chasing him and they're scared they know God's led them this far and they know God's provided for them this far but they're scared they don't know what to do and this is what Moses says Moses answered don't be afraid stand still and see the Lord save you today you will never see these Egyptians again after today you will only need to remain calm. The Lord will fight for you. Now we know in, in just a little bit uh, later in this portion of scripture, this part of the scripture, that we see that God miraculously sends these Egyptian, um, these Israelites on dry ground through the Red Sea and delivers them once again. God fought for them. God took care of them. And we know the Egyptians did not make it through that sea. God took care of them. And so the Israelites would never see those Egyptians again. And we see that God is telling them through Moses, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Stand still and see the Lord. See him save you today. He loves you and he will fight for you. Just remain calm and trust in him. As I mentioned, I think that we probably find ourselves in this position as well. And in that way, God is telling you and he's telling me to don't be afraid. Don't, don't worry what's going to happen because God's going to take care of us because he's going to stand for us. He's going to fight for us because he loves us. He's done it time and time again, and he will continue to do that. If you're a mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever it is, if you're an adult watching this video, I want you to take the next few minutes after we pray. And I want you to tell the kids in your life and in the room with you, I want you to tell them how God has done miracles for you, how God has provided for you, and how you have found yourselves at times um, just having to stand still because there's nothing that you could do, and God fought for you. Maybe he's doing that right now in your life, and you can't do anything but stand still and trust him. And so I want you to share that with your kids. Build up their faith by building, by, by telling them about the faith that you've had and how God has worked in your life. And um, I want you to do that tonight for today. All right, so let's pray together. God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that it is real. God, thank you for the story of the Israelites. I love that they love you and that they seek you and then they mess up and then you provide for them and you perform miracles and then they doubt you and, and they seek you, God. And I pray right now, um, I thank you for their story and I pray that, that you will help us to understand that, that you love us just like you love the Israelites and that you are faithful to them, that you are faithful to us just like you were faithful to them and Lord, that you are fighting for us just like you fought for the Israelites. So Lord, I pray right now that you will fill that in our hearts. And God, that you will encourage us with your spirit. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys, we'll see you back here for day 13.